Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, uh, Jobs Friday. Uh, jobs is going to be about, it's 7.20 Eastern right now, so about an hour and 10 minutes we're going to get the jobs report. The, the consensus is about 150,000. The consensus range is anywhere from 80,000 to 203,000. So, I mean, it, it's all over the place. Uh, you got people talking about the weather. They're, they're, you know, in my opinion, they're sandbagging it before it even comes out. Um, the fly in the ointment is that we're trading on the highs. So, you know, I say this every month. I'll say it again. Don't game jobs. Don't game jobs. 8.30 this morning, or I should say 8.29 this morning, is another excellent opportunity to blow up your trading account by guessing as to what the reaction will be to the jobs number and putting a bunch of contracts on, long or short, depending on what you think, being wrong, and dumping them all. Okay? Because the way it goes is if you're right, you'll end up dumping it for four or five handles. Most traders do. I'm right, but I'm going to be wrong soon, so I'm taking my money and I'm getting out of here. If you're wrong, you'll ride it all the way down or all the way up, all the way, 10, 20, 25, 30 handles. And by noon, not only will your weekend be ruined, but your contract, your, your, your account, everything's ruined. It's done. Okay? Don't be that person. Okay? Wait for the number. Let, you, know, you know, I'll just tell you, what we're, this is what we do every month. Number comes out. We wait to see what the high end of the range is, wait to see what the low end of the range is, fade it back in, let it find a direction. We have some proprietary stuff that we use, and then we just we go ahead and we trade the day. What we don't do is just come on in and say, all right, we're betting all on black today. That's the equivalent of what you're doing with jobs. Yes, it's supposed to be a positive report because of fact, weather and other things like that. That's how they're playing it up in the media. And the consensus numbers are dropping. But we're trading your all-time highs. So it better be right on point or it's an excellent opportunity to, to take profits. So just just beware. All right, what am I looking at market-wise? Well, a couple things. Um, you know, I, I had pointed out a few days ago that the destination here is, is the upper band. I still, I still think that that's the case. Upper band right now is 1888 half, essentially. In order to have a breakthrough and a move back, you've really got to trade it to 1890. So that's, you know, 1890 is an area I would be looking at initially off the jobs. The other thing I'm looking at is uh, my 45-day pivot, which you can get every morning on the website and, and on the Twitter account. The 45-day pivot today is is 1830 and 70 handles away from that pivot is is a very big number on my stuff and anybody that's followed me for any length of time um, knows that, that that level has been nicknamed crazy town over the years and crazy town today resides at 1900 even so if we get a very positive report or the reaction I should say who cares about the report the reaction to the report is very positive it's, you know, essentially 19 handles off the highs. And that is an area where traditionally you need to be involved with fading it back the other way. It's a, it's a, it's a very nice trade setup if we get there. We are a long way from 1900. I'm not saying we're going to 1900. I'm saying that part of my trading plan today is understanding and being aware that round number 1900 is crazy town. 70 handles off of the 45-day pivot. The distance between price and the 45-day pivot at that point will be 70 handles. Okay. Now, on the downside, the bears have to deal with 1866. They have to get through it in order to deal with the nine-day moving average at 61.25 to 60 area. Okay. You see the middle band, the green line, is rising rapidly to meet price now that we're shedding some of these older levels. Okay. The spread there is only 40 handles from peak price. A couple days ago, we were trading lower, but the spread was 50 handles from peak price. Okay, That's how you get a pullback without a pullback, essentially. And I think that over time, what you're going to see is price interact with the middle band as a function of time. We could grind. We could even grind lower here, um, and the middle band will go ahead and catch us. And at that point, it becomes decision time for the market. So 1890, 1900 on the up. 1866, 1860 on the down, and if it breaks really hard, you have to look at the middle band and what it's going to be doing, but I think that 46, again, should be very stiff um, 
um, support if it gets through those other two uh, two other support areas. 46 a big level. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll be back Monday morning with another webcast. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Come check out the chat room. Uh, we would love to meet you. Get started on a free trial. See if we can help with your trading. I will be out Monday morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.